Hi, my friends from the Goddard School. Miss Brittany here. My pre-K stars, I miss you so much. You guys know how much I miss you when I am not at work for one day. So as you can imagine, I'm close to crying for my mom because I miss you guys so, so much. So I'm happy that we're able to do um, these videos for you. I have a book, art, and a dash of science for you guys. So, most appropriately, this book is called When Spring Comes by Kevin Henkes, illustrated by Laura Dronzek. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. I'm sure you could look outside right now and see a couple of those. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. Ah, oh, special page for us. If you wait, our Ollie the egg will turn into a bird and the seed will start growing, the most beautiful flowers. Spring comes with sun and it comes with rain and more rain and more rain. Do you like the mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt and fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. But when spring finally is here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. Wind for fly, kite, uh, kite flying <laughs> and wheels for bike riding. You will feel it, you will smell it, and you will hear it. When spring is here to stay, you might think you are done waiting but you are not. Oh no. Oh, now you have to wait for summer and water days. Yay, hopefully we're all together by water days. Okay, let's get this art project going. This is all good stuff you can do from home. Um, we have orange paint today. We have a couple different types of scissors, glue, coloring utensils. We're going to make our garden today. I chose orange for a very good vegetable that helps you see. Can you tell me what vegetable that is? Carrots, you are right. So you'll take your paper, blank paper first. You will draw your dirt. Dirt is brown. Draw your dirt. Don't have to color the whole thing in. You can use your fingers, a paintbrush, maybe a knuckle. I don't know, maybe you wanna get creative, use different utensils at home but you're going to make carrots using your finger and you'll dab along just like that. You will fill your garden up with carrots. And if you have any other ideas of what else may gar grow in a garden, you can paint those too. Then with our green paper, you can cut them up into tiny pieces to make what? The leaves on top. I heard a couple of you shouting at your screen. The leaves on top. You'll take some of these and glue them to the top of your carrot. So by the end, you're gonna have a garden that is beautiful and lush. You may draw with a green marker, maybe. You can cut them out, make different designs, or tear your paper if you're not gonna use scissors. And tearing makes them a little curly. Love that. On to the next. Let's do some pre-K star science. 
This one is perfect for gardening season. We have three Ziploc bags labeled sun, cloud, and a moon. Alrighty, we have our garden beans. So we will take our garden bean, we'll take one of these, put it in with a wet paper towel, spray this down or you can get it wet. You'll spray that, whoa, oops. And you'll put it inside the bag. Lost movie. <laughs> okay, because it has this on it, where do you think this goes? In the sun, you're absolutely right. Look around your home, where is the sunniest window in your home? Found it? That's where you're gonna put this bag. Clouds. Look where you're putting this. This one is paper towel. Again, you're being inside this one. You're going to put it where it's a little shady in your house. So maybe you're gonna put it next to the window, not where there's quite too much sun. Put that one there. Our third one, wet paper towel, bean, with the moon on it for darkness. Put this one where it's dark. Maybe that's in your closet in the coat closet, closet by the front door, underneath the sink, pots and pans. I don't know, you choose a good spot for your beans. Tape them up and watch how the sun, the shade and the, and the darkness all react to your bean. Thank you so much for being with me today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video, which is a dance party video. So I'll see you then. Mwah! Love and miss you guys so much. Bye.